और वी हैव बीन डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वर्चुअलाइजेशन मैं प्रीवियस वीडियोस में डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग दी टाइप ऑफ वर्चुअलाइजेशन व्हिच वाज द मेमोरी वर्चुअलाइजेशन व्हिच वाज द मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड और द क्रिटिकल कंपोनेंट इन एनी हार्डवेयर सिस्टम सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग द डिस्क एंड द आईओ वर्चुअलाइजेशन द नेक्स्ट कंपोनेंट और द मेन डी फैक्टर फॉर द स्टोरेज इन वर्चुअलाइजेशन सो स्टे ट्यून टू माय वीडियो टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज डिस्क एंड आईओ वर्चुअलाइजेशन this rajiraj and you are streaming on the steady beast so first of all uh, you have the disk and the io virtualization means you have the disk storage system and the io request uh, which are going in and out to the system uh, to carry out certain activities and processes so uh, first let us understand what this diagram is and how internally the vms are managed and uh, how they are allocated uh, the devices to the guest os so first of all uh, we have this one simple generic diagram for the Uh, io virtualization so uh, it says that uh, you have some kind of monitors uh, vm monitors you have uh, as n number of uh, n number of monitors can be inside this uh, disk and io virtualization like uh, it may be connected in parallel or series so uh, here i have considered only three different monitors or three different virtual machines so this virtual machines have their own uh, its own monitor so those monitors are kept over here and then you have uh, some kind of devices attached at the upper lower right and uh, left sides so at the upper side you have some parallel ports and along with you have some serial or com ports next uh, to the right side you have the floppy disk uh, connector port then you have the cd or the dvd at the lower end you have uh, the usb device micro usb uh, type c type of kind of devices or ports then you have the mouse then you have the ide that is the uh, integrated development environment for all the pcb and the circuit boards then you have this cusi controller that is small computer system interface for uh, high speed ethernet lan and for all kind of things then at the left side you have the for the video card then for the sound card for mp3 mp4 type of formats and then you have finally the ethernet for accessing the internet uh, over the your virtual machine so uh, these are the all components or the all uh, ports uh, supported for this disk and io virtualization you can uh, add more on uh, things like can add on uh, the hdmi and all kind of uh, things in this by elaborating uh, this kind of architecture even more so uh, that's the generic diagram for this io virtualization now let us talk about how this uh, devices or Uh, how uh, this request and response is uh, done over this vm machine so uh, consider there are two different vm machines and since uh, in this previous diagrams i have discussed that there are some protection rings ring 0 ring 1 ring 2 ring 3 so this may be considered as a protection ring uh, for the io or for the disk so uh, in this uh, each vm has got its own uh, io that is for rings and on in these rings there will be different kinds of uh, this ports available uh, for any of this like for if sound card is there video card is there for id or the mouse or the usb then it will be uh, over here and uh, if uh, there is any request coming uh, then uh, on the fly dynamically it will allocate two different blocks or two different buffers it is called as the guest os buffer which is used for serving the guest os request now uh, this process happens asynchronously means whenever any uh, guest os or for example say zen uh, request any service from the vm then uh, it will uh, not directly copy paste it uh, but it will put on to this buffers and whenever uh, it wants it can access it and it will put back and it should put back because uh, if vm2 is in picture and if vm2 is in action then if it access the same device over it then you have uh, to put this buffer as empty and uh, test to place over it so another time if vm2 wants to access uh, those particular device which vm1 had access then vm2 also has to do provision or any kind of mechanism uh, for doing this so it's like a round robin fashion not a round robin fashion but uh, it's like a request and release so that's uh, all about these uh, os buffers for the guest and for serving how this serving actually takes place so let's move on to the uh, theory part so it mainly involves management of the io request routing throughout the virtual devices which you have created and the physical hardware itself 
now uh, you can host this or do this virtualization in two kinds of architecture uh, basically in virtualization we have two types of architecture uh, that we are the hosted one as well as the bare metal so you can get or you can deploy more better features and simpler management by using the hosted architecture than the bare metal architecture so that you will get to know when you watch this uh, videos so i'll put uh, this links in my description and you have to keep the CPU utilization at a very minimal level uh, while doing the disk or the IO virtualization. Now, uh, by doing so, uh, the performance or any other kind of uh, activities is not degraded, but uh, it will. Uh, it is advised to keep the CPU utilization at a lower level because at the uh, higher end, if the CPU utilization or the heat up process takes place, then the uh, disk will become like more over like a clogging and then will be uh, kind of certain bottlenecks and all so to avoid those kind of things you have to keep the CPU utilization at a lower level and since uh, these are the various kinds of IO devices which are uh, or the ports which are used for disk or the IO virtualization you can achieve it uh, by the help of a hypervisor that is VMM virtual machine monitor and uh, then uh, when you use the Zen hypervisor there comes a term called as the reorder barrier now what is reorder barrier is that uh, like i have said uh, if vm1 access one device or suppose if it access two devices uh, for example uh, if if it wants a video card as well as a usb device and then it will put on to the uh, this buffers os buffers kept and it will uh, serve to the vm machines now this is how zen works and if at the same time vm2 also wants uh, if it wants a USB device, which it has, and FD device, that is a floppy disk, then floppy disk it can however give because uh, it has no control over floppy disk for VM1, but USB device is still with uh, this one, that is VM, VM1. So VM2 wants uh, to release this and to acquire it. So there at times a reorder barrier comes, so that is solved in a round robin fashion, means at a certain point of time or particular point of time. Uh, it has to release whether its work is done or not done so that becomes a partial termination of the activity then you have to again start it from the scratch and do the activity so that is one kind of uh, like a major disadvantage of this like a problem or a bottleneck called as the reorder barrier so well that was all about the disk or the io virtualization and cloud coupling so hope you enjoyed this video from this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video